getting over him I got no rules, I count him It's me, Maddie, and I'm here with another YouTube video. Today's video is going to be a video on how to grow your hair out long and fast. You guys can see my hair is pretty long. It's about down that far. My hair grows like super, super fast. I'm going to be telling you guys seven hacks to grow your hair out long and fast. All of these hacks I use on my hair and it's definitely grown out longer and it's really, really like soft and still healthy. Whether you went to the hairdresser and just got a really bad haircut and you're trying to grow your hair or you've burnt your hair and you cut it short because you want to regain the natural, beautiful softness of it or you just want to grow your hair long, Stay tuned to this video because I'm going to be helping you guys grow out your hair. Before we get started on this video, I don't want you guys to go do these hacks and then expect to wake up the next morning and have an inch more hair. If you use these life hacks, hair hack, your hair, will it grow overnight? No. Will it grow in weeks? Yes. The average human grows about 0.44 millimeters of hair a month. That's half an inch of most. So I just don't want to discourage you guys and get you all like pumped up and be like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have fresh hair. No, doing these steps will allow your hair to grow out much faster and much stronger and long and beautiful. Okay, just to get that warning. We do this every video also. So without further ado, let's get started onto this video. Elsie say get started onto the video. Get started onto the video. Let's get started onto this video. So, hack number one, always use conditioner. If your hair is wet, that usually means you need to use conditioner. A lot of people use shampoo, but don't use conditioner sometimes if they're just taking a quick shower or whatever. But no, it should actually be the opposite. You should always, always use conditioner every single time you take a shower. Conditioner helps replace the proteins inside the hair shop that has been damaged over time from heat tools, and hair dye. Really, really important that you use conditioner every single time you take a shower. It gives your hair that shininess and it helps keep all the protein and vitamins in. Hack two. This is kind of funny because I just told you guys to start using more conditioner, but now I'm telling you guys to use less shampoo. Shampoo is meant for taking out dirt and build up product in your hair that's gonna make your hair all oily and kind of gross. Don't completely stop using it because that would just be disgusting. You want to use like shampoo like only three times a week and then use conditioner every single time you shower. So sometimes you can skip out on shampoo but this is the best way to apply shampoo. Your shampoo wants to go up here because that's where the roots are and that's where the oils are mostly coming off your scalp when you rub it and stuff. But when you do use shampoo don't go harsh on it and rub 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 like that through your hair. Like I don't know who does that like. You're actually supposed to like just, just like brush through with your fingers. Do it on the top and then don't even put it on the bottom of your roots or anything. Just when you're taking a shower and the water goes down, it's just going to go right past and that's good enough for your hair. You do not need to be putting clumps of shampoo in your hair or it's just going to cause it to dry out. It's taking all the vitamins and proteins out. It's meant to do that, to take out dirt and build up product like if you've been using hairspray and stuff. But the problem is if you use it every single shower time, it's eventually gonna make your it's gonna make your dead ends look really really bad and it's gonna make your hair look so dead and unhealthy so what you need to do is use conditioner more and use shampoo less hack number three which is really cool because I don't know why I like doing this one at the end of every single shower turn the water to cold just at the end okay you're not gonna suffer that hard at the end of every shower night you want to turn the water cold water cold after you get out of the shower only do it for like a minute or two which helps prevent moisture loss, snags, and heat damage. Hack number four is one that's helped me tremendously grow up my hair fast and long. Bring down the heat on your heat tools. Instead of curl iron or flat iron your hair at 410, which is the highest a heating tool can go, bring it down to 375 or below because 375 is just the right heat temperature to do to not damage your hair. Notice if you buy wigs or anything, the wigs always say don't go past 375 or it will damage the hair on the wig and like burn it and make it look bad. That's exactly how your hair is because wig hair is real and your hair is real. Never go over 375 I found on anything. I know you're like in a rush and you want to hurry and stuff but at the end of the day it will be totally worth it if you 
just wake up like five minutes earlier and you can sit down and flat iron your hair or you do it the night before you have to get up. That is if you take showers at night time, I do. I find a lot of people take them in the mornings. You see, because when you have it on 410 or whatever temperature you have it on over 375, you're basically frying out your hair. You're hurting your ends, you're hurting your roots, you're hurting your all your hair, basically you're just ruining. And it's really not good to have the flat iron or curl iron hide that high. Hack number five. So this is a little funny because like while you're growing out your hair, you're gonna probably become a supermodel. Okay, well you, you are gonna slim down some. But number five is eating healthy foods. Eating healthy foods like salmon, spinach, blueberries, sweet potatoes, and Greek yogurt is a great way to get those natural ingredients inside your body to grow your hair. Those are some foods that actually grow out your hair if you eat them. Just think about that. Spinach, walnuts, Greek yogurt, sweet potatoes, blueberries, salmon. All those foods are good for growing out your hair. Instead of taking those vitamins that cost like $25 to $50, like the blue gummies or whatever the Kim Kardashians post, you can just eat these natural foods and they will be a natural, like it'll be like a natural supplement to take and make your hair grow out longer and stronger and healthier. Hack number six is obvious, drink full water. Everyone knows drinking water helps literally with every problem you have. Almost, just everything. Drinking plenty of water helps your hair grow much faster and smoother. And you're gonna be like healthy, your skin's gonna be glowing. Guys, just think about this. If you eat healthy, you do everything like I said, don't like burn out your hair and stuff, you're gonna have beautiful hair. You're gonna be drinking water and eating healthy so you're gonna have beautiful skin and your body's gonna take shape because you're eating healthy and drinking all this water. <laughs> drinking water never hurts, so I suggest you just drink water whenever you can, while you're doing school, while you're at work, while you're drive, not driving, but like at a stoplight, pick up and drink some water. I like to have some water with me and drink some and your hair will be growing like, like a weed, except not ugly like one, just, you know. <laughs> Right. The last hair hack is eliminate all stress in your life. Now this can be a really hard one to do because whether you have a stressful job or you're driving in traffic or you have a bunch of things to do, you have homework, school, whatever it is, you just have to stop and you have to think about life and this time next year you won't even be thinking about these problems today. In 10 years you won't be thinking about the person that was rude to you or the the work you need to get done for school in 10 years you will not be thinking about that stuff take a step back breathe through your nose breathe out through your mouth and just breathe because stress is really bad for you guys first you gain weight second it can cause panic attacks and everything else and it's really bad for your blood and third which is why we're here we're talking about it's really bad for your hair if you stress out you stress out, you'll notice your hair is going to start being a little patchy, like there's going to be some patchy bald spots. Whether you itch it out or you pull it out because you're stressed out, you're going to lose your hair. So always maintain a good level of calmness and don't stress out. Whether that is exercising, taking some time to go on walks, sleeping, whatever you need to do, just don't stress out and your hair will continue to grow. So there you have it, seven hacks to grow out your hair long and fast. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I use every single one of these hacks. I think I might cut it soon, guys, because the dead ends are kind of dead. I might cut it like to this far, like that. But I want to have my hair long for the summer because there's going to be some awesome summer videos I'm going to have coming out. I suggest you guys follow some people with really long hair on Instagram. And I don't know why, but it, it just inspires me. I've always had the same kind of hairstyle too, so I'm hoping to switch it up this fall time. Just like completely like go, like go big or go home. But that's not going to be until this fall time, so make sure you subscribe to see when I go get a major haircut. That is it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe if it was helpful and like and share to someone who's just got a bad haircut or really wants to grow out their hair long. Thank you guys. Bye.